Hello my darlings, I hope you're doing very well. In today's video, I am gonna be doing a somewhat tattoo enthusiast reacts to because basically I have seen this before, but still I kind of want to share this with you guys and watch it together, okay? Like that's just who I am as a person. <laughs> I want to share the wealth <laughs> of anger. So I recently have been making my way through a franchise that kind of come out of America. It's called The Real Housewives and then they have different series. So there's The Real Housewives of Orange County, which was the first one I ever watched. And I actually watched it like 10 years ago and I've been like religiously watching that one. And then I got into New Jersey like a, a, a year after that. I was in college actually when I started watching um, The Real Housewives of Orange County. And then I watched New Jersey and then I've kept up with that one ever since. I watched Dallas when that come out and I've been watching that ever since. I've recently just watched all of the Real Housewives of New York City. That's what we'll be watching today. And now I'm watching Atlanta. Oh, and I watched Beverly Hills as well. I love Lisa Rinna so fucking much. <laughs> She's my favorite, I swear to God. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about the Real Housewives of New York City. For those that don't know, this these series basically just follows a bunch of women and their, you know, day-to-day -day lives. Even though I would believe a lot of it is scripted and stuff like that, but I also believe that a lot of it isn't <laughs> and this is just who they are as people. Yeah, I was watching, I think it was season 12 and the first couple of episodes, there was a new girl that come in. Her name's Leah. She's probably not like the majority of us where we're kind of covered in tattoos. Hello. Um, but she has a, a lot of tattoos when it comes to like the real housewives because most of them don't have tattoos. And um, so yeah, Leah come in and um, it was just like, oh my God, shock horror, she has tattoos. And a lot of these women are very conservative and prim and proper. And um, it was a shit fest because they were so shocked that she had, you know, the small amount of tattoos she has. I think for the most part, she has like one in her inner arm. She has one on her lower back, which is what it caused so much con contra eh, controversy. And honestly, when you look at this Leah, I mean, she's stunning. But um, when you when you see the uproar that these few tattoos caused, oh my God. And then in season 13, they go to my ultimate dream tattoo studio. Like when I saw this, cause I wasn't gonna make a video on this to start off with when I first watched like the series 12, I was like, oh, this is kind of shitty that they're hating on this Leah girl so much because of her tattoos, right? And I was like, oh, you know, that would be quite a fun video, but you know what, I'll just leave it, it's fine. But then they go to Black Veil in Salem in America, which is my dream tattoo studio. I wanna go there so bad to get tattooed by one of the Murray brothers. And they went there and they caused an absolute shit show in there. And I was like, nah, 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 I have to talk about this now. This is ridiculous. I mean, why, why? I mean, it was Leah's trip. Cause in the Real Housewives franchise, one of the housewives will like organize a trip for them to go on. And Leah organized to go to Salem, which is such a good trip. But Cause normally they go to like Mexico or, you know, somewhere in the Caribbean or something. But no, Leah was like, oh no, let's go Salem. <laughs> like, I love her. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's go. You think I'm gonna like her? You're gonna have her say three Hail Marys first. What's that mean, have her say three Hail Marys first? Well, she has a tramp stamp. Oh, gosh. I told Ramona, yeah. it's her name. This girl, she has tattoos everywhere. Uh, I'm not into tattoos. See what I'm saying? So the one with the short hair, that's Dorinda. The one with the long hair, that's Sonia. She's the one that hates tattoos the most. And then the person that she was on the phone to, that's Ramona. Ramona is so fucking annoying. Let me just tell you, like she is one of the most annoying people. <laughs> but I like kind of love her as well. She's been in it since like the beginning. If Avery or my daughter got a tattoo, I would, oh my God, I'd be, I'd die. I'd have a heart attack. <laughs> See, it's so fucking dramatic. They're like, oh my God, if my daughter would do that, I'd die. Like my, my daughter is above that. She would never get a tattoo. My daughter is a lot more educated and smarter than this Leah girl. They've not even met this Leah girl, right? And they're just like judging her on the fact that she has tattoos. And they're like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like her. I can't imagine ever being in that kind of mind frame. Like it just shows how 
different people grow up and stuff you know like they have lived like quite a sheltered life and a, a very privileged life right to maybe never come across heavily tattooed people they don't run in circles where people have tattoos oh I, I, if like, she said something that ramona agrees with she's supposed to say no because Amen, no one sister. can believe that i agree with her who how do you agree with a woman who has tattoos I don't, mean it that way. I don't agree with a woman that has tattoos. I don't mean it that way. Oh my god. So let's do a little rundown of who's in this scene. So there's Tinsley, the one with the braids, who is Leah's like really good friend. And then there was um, Luann, who just come into the scene there with the brown hair. And they're all just discussing like Leah's tattoos and like what's going on there. And Ramona's just like, oh, I don't agree with people with tattoos. Like, what? <laughs> She's probably the kind of person that would refuse a doctor treating her if they had tattoos. You know that kind of person that's just like, Oh no, I would never have a doctor treat me that has tattoos. They're uneducated. They don't know what they're doing. Girl, it's just some ink on their skin. Like, it doesn't change who a person is. It's literally, I do, I've done this in a few videos, right? Imagine I am tattoo free right now. I know that's hard to imagine, but imagine... If I'm, you know, just your everyday person, you know, I'm educated, I have a very well-paying job, I'm just a very well-rounded, wholesome person, and I know what I'm doing with life, and I'm successful, all of that's fun stuff, right? And then I also get a tattoo, that's my tattoo, okay? <gasps> oh my god, I'm all of a sudden the worst person in the world, I'm gonna rob the bank, I'm gonna rob an old lady, just because I all of a sudden have something on my skin, it doesn't work like that. Like, come the frick on. I don't get it. Like, what? What? It bugs me. Oh, this, this lipstick is going to stain my wrist. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, well. This is nuts. It's not like I have a penis tattooed across my forehead <laughs> or a gun tattoo on my neck. I have pretty little cute tattoos. I have a Chanel tattoo. She does. She has some tattoos on her fingers, like where people would normally have like some script or something, like just on the bottom. Then she has like a little Chanel logo there. And like I was saying, I think she has something in her, in her arm somewhere on her lower back. And then I think she has a heart on her bum as well, if I remember, because when they've been on trips and stuff, she would wear a bikini and you could see like, uh, the heart on her bum <laughs> like she's not fully covered you know she's not like me like could you imagine these ladies coming across me oh boy i feel like everybody has tattoos it's not like a weird thing no anymore. nobody has none of this group has a tramp stamp <laughs> nobody in this group has a tramp stamp i hate that word so much leah does call it a tramp stamp herself but I still, like, I just don't personally like the term tramp stamp. It's a lower back tattoo. It's such a 90s thing to say tramp stamp, in my opinion. I just, it just doesn't sit right with me, you know? It's kind of degrading in a way. I'm not sure what a tramp stamp is, but it doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> That's because it's not. Like, the way, it just say lower back tattoo. There's no need to call it a tramp stamp. Honestly, I don't talk to people with tattoos. <laughs> I don't. <even laughs> she just said it again. I don't talk to people with tattoos. For why? What have they ever done to you? What makes a tattooed person different to a non-tattooed person? Like, gone are the days when most tattooed people are like delinquents or, you know, prostitutes. Not that there's anything wrong with being a sex worker, in my opinion. But I feel like, I mean, Ramona, she looks amazing for her age. I think here she's like 62. So she's quite an elderly lady, even though she looks like she's 44. Like, I want to know who her surgeons are because I'm going to need them soon because I am 31, okay? Like, if I want to look that good when I'm her age, I think I need to put a pep in my step, right? She might have like an old school mentality or an old school upbringing and what have you. But in this day and age, and especially like living in New York City where it's so diverse, you need to like move with the times, lady, okay? She knows your name, which is amazing. And if she forgets it, you just need to turn around. Look. And bend oh over. I, uh, you just need, uh, like, I think Leah took it kind of well. Well, I don't know, she doesn't. But, like, to say, oh, you just need to bend over and then you can just show everyone your name. Thing is, would I personally have my own name tattooed on me? No. <laughs> like, that's not something I would do, personally. It's her body, her choice, I'm all for it, you know? Like, 
go for it. If I was sitting at that table and I was Leah and I had these group of women just be kind of rude and gross towards me because of my life choices, I would not take it. I could not just sit there and be like, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. You shouldn't stand for that kind of shit. We just met. That is rude. Do you ever leave your little 1% Upper East Side bubble? Ever? Thank you. Exactly. These women are obviously very privileged. They have a lot of money. They either like worked their asses off to have their money or they married into a rich family or whatever. But they are literally like the 1% of people that are just like completely culture shocked by anything that's different than their lives, you know? Really? Like, I'm not with no, the like, I'm, I'm not with the comments like that. Everyone is being crazy about tattoos. Oh, no. it, it, get over it. it. Everybody has tattoos nowadays. Exactly. Like, grow the fuck up. <laughs> She's being so calm. I just could not take that at all. It's just a fact. She doesn't have a tattoo. She doesn't have no, a tattoo. No, no. It wasn't I don't about have a that. tattoo. It was and more about the. If someone doesn't remember your name, you can just bend over and they can look at it. Okay. Well, Sonia said all. the same thing. I thought it was funny. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Sorry, but it's it's not that funny. Like people with tattoos get jokes towards them a lot. Like, and it's kind of like, ugh. you know, like she's probably heard that joke many times throughout her life since she's had the tattoo like oh well if you forget your name just bend over like i would get fucking sick of it like it's just oh my god it's just not funny <laughs> you think you're funny but you're not funny dorinda well i think sorry. it's your delivery i'm sorry you know what i mean well, talk to there's a lot of hostility no, there's not of course there i is. thought it was funny it is a little bit like you know, like, it's not that funny. It's the way that she's saying it. Especially with the conversation that they've had beforehand. It's not like an all of a sudden funny joke just come out of nowhere. Like, they've been judging her on her tattoos for a, a little bit. You know, the day before. At the table as well. It's a bit like, ugh. She said you have a tramp stamp on your back. So when people well, are f***ing you, they know oh, who you are. You know, That's what like, Sonia said. Like and little, I said... I, it's so, a little hostile. Okay, was, Sonia said. Okay, hey, darling. There's a... <sighs> God. Dorinda has always been a bit too much when, like, when these ladies drink, like, I've noticed throughout the Housewives... Um, series that the real housewives of New York City, the ladies drink a lot more than anywhere else. Like they get absolutely hammered. And Dorinda is one of them that can't handle her drink. And ugh. But yeah, I could not be in this situation and be so cool about it. I'm like, look, you're judging me for my tattoos. This joke was not funny. Sort your life out, get some new material. I have tattoos, deal with it. If you don't like it, then that's a you problem, not a me problem. I don't know why you're trying to make this a me problem because I have the tattoos. Shut the fuck up. Leave my sight. I couldn't pick you out in a lineup. I don't, I don't know even know what you. that means. I don't know you. Exactly. You do not know her, so you don't have the right to judge her on a freaking tattoo and say these jokes about her when you don't even know her. Like, I couldn't imagine meeting someone new and just instantly taking the piss out of their tattoos. Like, that's something you do after you've been friends with someone for a while, you know? Okay, so that was pretty much it for series 12 with Leah. I mean, there was a few comments here and there throughout the episodes about her tattoos and they kind of just were pretty judgmental towards Leah because of her tattoos and they made like little snide comments here and there because she is tattooed and honestly I think it's because she's like one of the younger women out of the group as well a little bit of jealousy you know she's young she's fun she's pretty you know it comes from a place of insecurity and jealousy anyway we're on to season 13 now which is the newest season and this is when they go to Salem, and they go to Black Veil. Is anybody else getting attacked? What do you mean? I'm a tattoo. Oh, oh no. no. I like my, my body free. So Ramona is back on her bullshit with her. I like my body free. I don't want anything on my body. La, 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 la. Oh, God. Oh, by the way, we've got two new women. So Dorinda has left the building now. She's not a part of the cast anymore. Nor is Tinsley. And we've got two new women. One of them isn't a cast member, but she's more of like a um, friend of kind of situation. So there's Ebony, who's a new housewife. She's like one of the main 
housewives, if that makes sense. Then there's Bashan, who is a friend of Ramona's, who is on this trip as well. And everyone else is the same. Oh, I have a bunch. I think you're the only you know? person with tattoos currently. We're all tattoo free. Good for you. Everyone, have you noticed people without tattoos like to make a statement that they don't have tattoos? You know, like most tattooed people just go about their lives and then people will come up to you with no tattoos and they're like, oh my God, you have so many tattoos. I don't have tattoos. It's like, okay, cool. I don't just go up to random people and say, oh, hi, I have tattoos. It's so weird. <laughs> are you doing it? I'm thinking Let's about it. Let's do it, baby. I really am. You thinking are about you it too, it? You guys are nuts. You're doing this just because of the pandemic. Sonia's on her bullshit again. She's like, oh, you're just doing this because of the pandemic. I mean, yeah, like a lot of people went through shit during the pandemic and made them realize life is short. You need to take advantage of every opportunity you get. Obviously, a tattoo is quite, you know, an extreme opportunity. But, you know, if the opportunity is there and you want the tattoo, get the freaking tattoo. Ugh. Hey, guys. Ooh. Look at this place. Oh, my God. Look how oh great God. this is. It looks oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's like Halloween all the time here. Hi. Oh, my God. Like, that is the ultimate dream tattoo studio i swear to god it is on my bucket list to go there get tattooed like the studio just looks gorgeous like luann said it's like halloween here all the time and yes i've seen a few photos of the studio and it just looks spooky and haunted all the time oh god i love it i feel very good about this the place looks beautiful mm -hmm. the women are impressed i know we have like a few more days but it does. It just looks, oh, stunning, beautiful. Probably one of the most amazing tattoo studios I've ever witnessed in my whole entire life. There's the Murray brothers. Are you twins? Yeah. What are you going to do tonight? Well, we're trying to scare you. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm, I'm intrigued. <laughs> just thought it was funny. <laughs> There's basically this bit here where the girls just start talking about politics and stuff because this is around about the time of the American election. So it's like last November, December time. I can't remember when it was. Um, but they were just talking about politics because Ramona was always like, oh no, I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about politics or anything like that. Like it's not for me. Which fair enough. Some people just don't want to talk about it. Not for any reason. They're just not into talking about it. But then like they have a full on like hoedown of talking about, you know, racism, politics and whatever. And these kind of conversations absolutely need to be had 100%. But like, you're in a freaking tattoo studio <laughs> and they full on go off on each other. I have no idea who be I am. Ramona, listen, don't be defensive. You're a I moron. See what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I've never personally just sat in a tattoo studio and had a full on political debate. Uh, again, these conversations need to be had, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, uh. I have to just move through this. Please, and then we can, we've been going no, through this every time we're with her. Okay. Every no. time with Ebony. Well, How Ebony's do do still black. So if you want to. still white. I'm sorry, I'm white. white. That's just not what you say to anybody, especially a person of colour. Like, she, Ebony's like, I'm black. And then Ramona's like, I'm white. I'm sorry, I'm white. It's just like... No one's asking for an apology because you're white. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? But that whole thing was a situation. It was a screaming match and oh my God. And then they have this beautiful table dinner. Like how nice is this? Ebony, okay. This is the dream. Oh my God, these flowers are gorgeous. But they end up having dinner in this beautiful studio and i was just like oh my god Maybe. well why are you crying so bad oh okay i just want to share that my grandma passed this morning oh jesus oh no oh my god okay so yeah for the context ebony's grandma was sick as well as leah's leah's grandma passed away two weeks prior to filming that bit and um, so they're both kind of like close together because both their grandmas have passed away and they've all been shouting at Ebony and they've, well, they've all been shouting at each other, let's be serious. And they're all like, oh my God, no, why didn't you tell us? I want to get a move. tattoo. We're going I'm so I'm so to. You're very yeah. emotional tonight. Maybe this is not the right time to do it. No, this I, is I, a good tattoo. time. No, it's what a good time. tattoo? Maybe you should wait. I'm going to get Katie right here. The thing with something like that, Katie is her grandma's name. Um, even if she isn't thinking about it like straight or whatever, like she is like emotional or whatever, which would be especially after being attacked by a bunch of women <laughs> it's like getting a super personal tattoo of your grandma's name 
I don't think that would be a huge regret, you know, like that would be very personal. And she did love her grandma so, so much as well. But it's the whole like, oh, I think you should think about it, blah, blah, blah. It's a personal tattoo. It's her life. Let her do what she wants. Yeah, so me and Ebony know what we yeah. got. And my body is a temple, by okay. the way. So you're gonna let us see your first one. Yeah, but don't f this up. I hate when people are like, oh, my body is a temple. Don't decorate the temple. It's sacred. I would never do this. I'm still gonna get the tattoo. Don't fuck it up. But my body is a temple. I hate that so much. I hate when people are like, oh, I would never get a tattoo because my body is a temple. Have you ever looked at a temple? There's decorations and painting and artwork everywhere around them. They are the most decorated buildings of all time. Okay, if you want to be like, oh, my body is pure and clean, just say, oh, my body is like a minimalist house. You know, those houses that are just pure white and there's like no personality, no flavor at all, right? That is what you should say. And the fact that she's like, oh, don't fuck this up. Does she know who she's talking to? She's talking to some of the most talented tattoo artists on the planet. They, they would never, they don't have it in them to fuck it up, okay? Like... Oh, the disrespect. <laughs> I don't want to defame my body. Look how beautiful my skin yeah, is. <laughs> I mean, Sonia is completely plastered again. So I'll give her a little pass. But your skin is beautiful no matter what. Whether it's tattooed, scarred, pierced, plain, whatever. Your skin is beautiful. It is one of the most amazing organs that we have. Uh, it shocks me every day that your skin is an organ. It's weird, isn't it, saying that? But, like, just because someone has imperfections on their skin doesn't make them less than. Permanent. Yeah, I don't like anything. Else. Listen, I, I, you know, I, I color my hair, hair is not permanent, you know? So, basically, Ramona is saying, I don't want anything permanent with my body. She's like, I just color my hair. Girl, we know that you have not just colored your hair. You do not look that good at 62, 63, 64, however old you are here, without some work. I know for a fact she had a boob job because that was mentioned in one of the reunions at one point in the series. I think it was like three or four series back. She's definitely had Botox. She definitely has lip filler. She's probably had a nose job once upon a time. Again, she colours her hair, which isn't permanent because it grows out kind of thing, but she's had permanent work done. But she's just there being like, oh, I would never have something permanent done to my body. Girl, <laughs> there is permanency all over, up in your face and in your boobs. Like, calm the fuck down. Don't be pointing fingers at permanency when you're guilty. Our daughters no. would never do a tattoo. But are you putting a judgment on a tattoo? Yes. <laughs> at least she's you're honest. You're saying judgment on a tattoo is like, oh, you're déclassé or you're lower than me. No, I don't you say that. You said it, I did. She's kind of saying that, though. She's just like, oh, I would never get a tattoo. And then Bashawn is like, but you're putting a judgment on it. And Sonia's like, yes. <laughs> I like, at least she's freaking honest with it. My daughter did a tattoo. I would say, okay, I don't like her defaming her skin so i'm older i have wisdom you may be older but you don't have wisdom <laughs> i just don't i don't get it oh my god you're doing it yeah are you I, sure i'm getting white ink ramona it's not gonna be too heavy it's gonna be here so guess what if i don't like it no i don't have anything either i know i'm with you i don't at least don't advertise i'm with you oh my god she's just said another thing ebony is on one with the quotes when it comes to not being tattooed even though she's about to get a tattoo she's done the whole bentley's don't advertise bentley's don't have bumper stickers all of that bullshit this tattoo artist like literally behind you and you're being so offensive about tattoos in their establishment where tattoos, beautiful works of art, by the way, are created. Like, it's just so rude. I, I could never. You're on an emotional day because your grandma just died, Katie, today. Ramona, stop. <laughs> I want to memorialize it today. You don't have to memorialize it like this. Ramona, if you're not going to be supportive, get out. Leah is out here spitting facts, bruv. Like, if you're not going to be supportive, just get out. Just, just go back to the freaking hotel. Just go. Why are you here? If this isn't something that's for you, just leave. Like, if I was a tattoo artist, I'd be like, lady, can you just, like, fuck off? You're ruining my mojo right now. <laughs> you have, like, this is going on. Chill. I want to know about your heart and soul. Heart and soul, girl. Give me your heart and soul. Heart and soul. I didn't think it would be this bad. I like to think that I have a high tolerance for pain, but this is next level. It, it's pretty painful. She has gone for a wrist tattoo as well. 
which is it's pretty spicy it feels like a hot scratchy needle it feels like you're being burnt a little bit it's not pleasant and especially as she's getting white ink as well which is a little bit more painful because of the way white ink is made i had a tattoo artist explain it to me once I, I did listen, it went in one ear though and my brain could not retain the information and it went out the other, but white ink is a little bit more painful than black ink. I don't know why. There's a reason. I'm sure a professional can tell me down below. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty much it. To be honest with you, again, I just wanted to share this with the world and talk about it because I thought it was freaking awkward and annoying and frustrating and just, you know... I've said what I needed to say. <laughs> I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on this. Has there been any TV shows that you've watched where people have been a bit gross about tattoos? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, until my next video, bye.